today's topic is unit number 2 unit number 2 title is his first flight today we will continue with our reading and we will do glossary of the text first year subject english now coming to the continuation paragraph so it is the story of a young seagull who is afraid of making his first flight so it is the story of young seagull ga 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 he cried begging her to bring him over some food it is the sound of the seagull the sound the seagull was making the sound ga 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 he cried begging begging means iltija karna her to bring him over some food he was begging to her mother to bring him some uh, to bring him some food ga ola she screamed back derisively derisively means she screamed back um hatefully nafrat angez andaaz mein she screamed screamed dobara chillai so go along it was a screamed of the mother she was screaming she was screaming means screamed chillana jawaban usne cheekh mari wo chillai derisively nafrat angez andaaz mein but he kept calling plaintively plaintively means afsurdaki se ghamzada hokar and after a minute or so he uttered a joyful scream so but he kept calling plaintively wo ma ko bar bar afsurdaki se bula raha tha and after a minute or so ek minute guzra hoga ya thoda hi waqt guzra hoga he uttered a joyful scream usne khushi wali awaaz nikalna shuru kar di why he uttered a joyful joyful scream because his mother had picked up a piece of fish and was flying across to him with it so he was happy when he saw that his mother is coming to him with a piece of fish in in her beak so his mother had picked up a piece of fish and was fly, flying across to him with it so she was fl- flying to his ledge to feed him he leaned out eagerly leaned out means jhukna eagerly eagerly means बेकरारी में बेकरारी में वो आगे झुका टैपिंग द रॉक विद हिज फीट टैपिंग द रॉक विद हिज फीट ही वॉज स्टेपिंग ऑन द रॉक ही वॉज टैपिंग कदम बार बार रखना ऑन द रॉक ट्राइंग टू गेट नियर टू हर एज शी फ्लू अक्रॉस ही वॉज ट्राइंग वाई ही वॉज Uh, leaned eagerly he was tapping the rock because he was trying to get nearer to her as she flew across kyunki wo apni maa ke kareeb jana chahta tha jaise hi wo aage badh rahi thi but when she was just opposite to him lekin jab wo bilkul uske samne pahunchi abreast of the ledge abreast means side to side to the ledge when her mother came to her she was just nearer to him but she was along the ledge side by side wo ledge ke bilkul kareeb thi chabutre ke bilkul kareeb thi she halted her legs hanging limp she halted halted means she paused she paused she stopped wo kuch der ke liye ruki her legs hanging limp her legs were flexible her legs were were not stiff her legs were flexible in the air her wings motionless paron mein uski koi harkat nahi thi the piece of fish in her beak almost within reach of his beak piece of fish in her beak uske muh mein machli ka jo uski chonch mein machli ka jo tukda tha almost within reach of his beak uski chonch ki pahunch mein tha he waited a moment in surprise he 
ही वेटेड फॉर अ मोमेंट इन सरप्राइज हैरानी से कुछ देर इंतज़ार किया वंडरिंग वाई शी डिड नॉट कम नियरर ही वॉज वंडरिंग ही वॉज हैरानी में था कि वो उसके करीब क्यों नहीं आ रही एंड देन मैडन बाय हंगर एंड देन ही गॉड क्रेजी विथ हंगर ही डाइव्ड एट द फिश उसने मछली पर गोता लगा दिया या वो मछली की तरफ लपका विद अ लाउड स्क्रीम ही फेल आउटवर्ड्स एंड डाउनवर्ड्स इन टू द स्पेस सो वैन ही डाइव्ड एट द फिश सो विद अ लाउड स्क्रीम ऊंची चीख के साथ ही फेल आउटवर्ड्स वो बाहर की तरफ गिरा एंड डाउनवर्ड्स और नीचे की तरफ इन द स्पेस सो ही वॉज इन द स्पेस ही वॉज इन द ही वॉज इन द ओपन एटमोसफेयर ही वॉज आउट ऑफ हिज लेज हिज मदर हैड स्वूप्ड अपवर्ड्स स्वूप मीन्स फ्लाई सो हिज मदर हैड फ्लाई अपवर्ड एज ही पास बीनीथ हर ही हर्ड द स्विश ऑफ हर विंग्स एज ही पास बीनीथ हर बीनीथ मीन्स नीचे जैसे ही वो उसके नीचे गुजरा ही हर्ड द स्विश ऑफ हर विंग्स स्विश मीन्स फड़फड़ाहट परों की आवाज सो He heard the swish of her wings. So when he passed beneath her mother, he heard the swish of her wings. उसने अपनी माँ के परों की परभराहट सुनी सुनी Then a monstrous terror seized him, and his heart stood still. Then a monstrous monstrous means a huge size, a huge size terror terror खौफ seized उस पर गालिब आ गया So What was the size of his terror? It was a monstrous, a big size, a huge size terror seized him. खौफ उस पर गालिब आ गया and his heart stood still और उसका दिल बेहरकत हो गया He could hear nothing, so he was not able to hear anything. But it only lasted a moment. But this feeling, this um. This terror just lasted for a moment. The next moment he felt his wings spread outwards. So the next moment अगले ही लम्हे ये कुछ लम्हे के लिए उसने ये खौफ महसूस किया Then the next moment अगले ही लम्हे he felt his wings spread outwards. उसने अपने परों को बाहर की तरफ फैलते हुए महसूस किया The wind rushed against his breast feathers. then under his stomach and against his wings so he was feeling that there is wind flowing against his breast feathers hawa uske breast feathers chest ke paron ke ke mukhalif ja rahi hai then under his stomach and against his wings he could feel the tips of his wings cutting through the air so he was feeling that on the tips tips means saron ke upar apne paron ke saron ke upar he can feel that the wind is blowing against his wings he was not falling head long now ab wo aage ki taraf sar ke bal nahi gir raha tha he was soaring gradually downwards and upwards soaring means fly upward so he was soaring uh, gradually slowly he was soaring he was flying downwards niche ki taraf and outwards bahir ki taraf he was no longer afraid so he was not afraid of his flight he just felt a bit dizzy so he was just feeling a little bit dizzy or feeling that a dizzy means sar chakrana then he flapped his wings once and he soared upward then he flapped phadphadana his wings once ek the first ne apne par phadphadaye and he soared soared upar parvas bharna upward aur wo phir then he fly upwards he uttered a joyous scream and flapped them again he uttered a joyous joyous means uh, full of joy scream so he was screaming he was screaming wo chilla raha tha with full of joy 
खुशी के साथ एंड फ्लैप्ड दैम अगेन एंड फ्लैप्ड हिज विंग्स अगेन ही सोर हायर वो ऊपर ही ऊपर प्रवास भरता गया ही रेज हिज ब्रेस्ट एंड बैंक्ड अगेंस्ट द विंड ही रेज हिज ब्रेस्ट उसने अपने चेस्ट को चौड़ा किया एंड बैंक्ड अगेंस्ट द विंग विंड बैंक मीन्स उड़ना अगेंस्ट द विंड और हवा के मुखालिफ उड़ा गा 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 सो दिस वॉज द साउंड विच वॉज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय अ यंग सी गर्ल गा अलॉ हिज मदर स्वूप्ड पास्ट हिम हिज मदर स्वूप्ड फ्लाई पास्ट हिम फ्लाई अलॉन्ग हिम हर विंग्स मेकिंग अलाउड नॉइज सो हर मदर फ्लाई जस्ट along him and her wings making a loud noise he answered her with another scream so he answered her mother with another scream then his father flew over him screaming then his father joined him in his flight by screaming S- screaming means he was appreciating him then he saw his two brothers and his sister flying around him so in a meanwhile all the family joined together and they were appreciating the young sea girl for his first flight by screaming curvetting and banking and soaring and diving diving curvetting means murna chalange lagana and banking urna and soaring upar ki taraf parvaz badh भरना एंड डाइविंग और होता लगाते हुए सो दे वर प्ले फुली मेकिंग देयर फ्लाइट्स दे वर प्ले फुली फ्लाइंग सो दे वर इन देयर फ्लाइट दे वर करवेटिंग बैंकिंग सोरिंग एंड डाइविंग सो दे वर ऑल द फैमिली वॉज वेरी हैप्पी एंड दे वर स्क्रीमिंग एंड दे वर प्ले फुली फ्लाइंग then he completely forgot that he had not always been able to fly so then he forgot the thought that he was once he was not able to fly he commenced himself to dive and soar and curvet strike striking shrilly he commenced he started himself to dive so he started to dive hota lagana and soar and fly upward soar means fly upward and curvet curvet means um murna making turns taking turns in flying striking shrilly bahut zyada barik awaaz se cheekhe lagana so he was playfully flying he was diving he was soaring he was curveting and he was striking shrilly barik awaaz se wo cheekhe laga raha tha he was near the sea now flying straight over it so he was near the sea and he was flying straight over it aur wo bilkul uske upar parvas kar raha tha facing straight out over the ocean facing facing uska chehra straight वो उसका चेहरा बिल्कुल समंदर के ऊपर था ही सो आवाज ग्रीन सी बीनीथ हिम सो ही ही कैन सी आवाज ग्रीन सी बीनीथ हिम उसके नीचे अंडर हिम विद लिटिल रिजेस मूविंग ओवर इट लिटिल रिजेस छोटी छोटी मौजें मूविंग ओवर इट सो देयर वर देयर वॉ देयर वर लिटिल रिजिस छोटी छोटी मौजें समंदर पर आ, हरकत कर रही थी एंड ही टर्न हिज बीक साइड वेज एंड ही टर्न हिज बीक साइड वेज और वो अपनी चोंच को इधर उधर मोड़ रहा था एंड क्रोड अम्यूजली क्रोड मीन्स मेकिंग अ साउंड amusedly with happily so he was making a happy sound and around him his family was screaming and by hearing his uh, amusedly scream so the
the family support him in his screaming praising him tareef kar rahi thi and their beaks were offering him scrape of dog fish so his family was screaming along him praising him and their beaks were offering now their beaks were offering him scrapes of dog fish scrapes mean small pieces of dog fish dog fish is the name of a fish he has made his first flight so in this way he has made his first flight he has completed his first flight now after completing the story of a young sea girl when he made his first flight the main idea of the story is that once we come over with our fear nothing is impossible for us so what is the main thing to come over our fear so once we come over our fear so nothing will be impossible for us now coming to glossary words meaning abreast of abreast of meaning alongside each other abreast of side by side saath saath hona pehlu ba pehlu hona facing in the same direction also up to date fully conversant with amusedly amusedly bahut zyada khushi ke sath with amusement entertainingly beneath beneath means niche below if covered protected or obscured by underneath brink brink is edge kinara the edge border or verge of a steep place such as a precipice crackle to squ- squeak in shrill broken notes of a hen after laying an egg making a shrill sounds crackle schasm a deep cleft in the ground abyss gorge or raven schasm means a deep cliff in the ground فاصلہ ہونا بہت زیادہ فاصلہ ہونا ڈینٹلی ایلیگنٹلی ڈرائسولی موکنگلی اسکانفلی حکارت سے دیکھنا ڈیسپریٹ کیئر لیس آف ڈینجر سچ ایز فرام ڈسپیئر ریک لیس بے چین ڈرٹ کیکڈ کورڈ ود اے ہارڈ لیئر آف ڈرٹ hardened with dirt dirt cake a thing which is covered with hard layers of dirt dizzy affected with a whirling or reeling sensation giddy sar chakrana eagerly impatiently betabi se anxiously expense an uninterrupted area of something that spreads or extends over a wide area wasi hona for the life of him idiom through trying through trying desperately bahut zyada mehnat karna koshish karna head long with head downward foremost head first head long sar ke bal herring any marine soft finned fish with an elongated body covered in silvery scales an important food fish of the northern sea so herring is the name of a fish hump a rounded projection of earth or sand a bulge or a mound hump means the mean jo thodi upar ki taraf upri hui ho ledge a narrow shelf like rock projection on a cliff or mountain kachabutra limb not firm not stiff weak loose feeble slack limbs means which is not stiff bahut zyada dheeli par jana mackerel a spiny finned food fish mackerel is the name of a fish monstrous 
enormous, great, immense, huge, बहुत बड़ा plaintively, expressing sadness, बहुत ज़्यादा गमगीन होना melancholy, mournfully, plateau, a wide, mainly leveled area of an elevated land, plunk, to throw or thrust to leap or dive into chalang lagana precipice the cliff or a crack chatan scrape a small piece of something fragment seagull a seabird with long pointed wings short legs and wide plumage Chair, perpendicular, very steep. Amudi, shrilly, a sound, voice in a sharp and high pitched manner. बहुत बारीक आवाज में ऊंची, बहुत बारीक ऊंची आवाज. Swish, a hissing or rustling sound of movement in air. भड़भड़ाने की आवाज. To ascend, to go or move up, to climb up, to mount. सो असेंट ऊपर की तरफ जाना द बैंक अगेंस्ट टू बैंक अगेंस्ट टू टेक सपोर्ट ऑफ सहारा लेना टू प्लेस अ स्ट्रॉन्ग फायर और फ्लेम क्लेयर शोला टू कमेंस टू बिगेन टू स्टार्ट टू करवर्ट टू लीप मूव अबाउट इन अ प्लेफुल जॉयफुल मैनर टू डेवर टू स्वॉलो और ईट अप ग्रीडिली or voraciously to doze to sleep lightly or intermediately to flap to move up and down in or as in a flying to know to know g is silent to bite at or chew upon so as to wear away little by little to hack to cause to emerge from the egg to lean out to extend forward as if to reach out to something to muster up to summon gather assemble or call up to preen of birds to maintain feathers in healthy condition by arranging cleaning with the bill with the beak beak so preen means cleaning of feathers with beak to root to burrow to to make for something such as food digging for looking for food to seize to take hold of quickly to grab ghalib aa jana to skim to glide smoothly or lightly over a surface to soar to rise or fly upward in the air to stretch to draw out or extend such as a limb of the body to swoop upward swift ascent tezi se upar chadhna swift upward movement to taunt to provoke or deride with mockery contempt or criticism taunt malamat karna to trot to move at a trot to upbraid to scold or rebuke angrily to take a task taunt apat karna wit to sharpen tez karna activity is you have to learn glossary of the text thank you